G'day guys, welcome to Yen Beauty. My name is Sanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And you know what? I thought I need to do an empties video, right? But to do an empties video, I feel more comfortable if I just get a little bit dolled up. So I thought I may as well record this just doing my makeup and um, and see where we go. Now, if my eyes are a little bit red or I'm blinking a lot, it is because I put on a sunscreen this morning. Everything was fine for about well, let's just say 45 minutes and then I must have I must have rubbed my eyes I do that a lot and I've got the sunscreen in my eyes and I don't like it um, I've got this big tube of it this is the cancer council ultra sunscreen very high UVA UVB protection lotion blah 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 50 plus broad spectrum sunscreen that's a mouthful um, and while it works it definitely works um, it makes me looking makes me look like a grease ball for one and I have dry skin and I, I look I don't like looking really dry and I don't like looking really really greasy um, but I look like the tin man when I wear this and um, and yeah plus the burning in my eyes so I'm gonna actually probably put this one on my body and not my face anymore and see if I can find a more mattifying sunscreen but you know what, let's not even worry about that I'm gonna put that aside um we are going to start by putting on some moisturizer and um I you know I've actually been loving I got this little sample of the Olay Olay why do I always say Olay Olay Henriksen strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer it's just a little tiny sample I don't know if you can see it but you know what? I'm in love with this. Um, I was trying to figure out what moisturizer I wanted to try next and I ended up getting this as a Sephora sample um, after I ordered something and I had a feeling that um, if I loved this that I was kind of like not going to want to try out the other ones and don't get me wrong I, I do want to try out the other ones that were on my list. If you watched my last video I think it was I was talking about um, four other moisturizers that I was interested in trying. This is lovely. This slides on it's very thick I've been using this for two weeks now and I'm only halfway through this little tub um, you really don't need a lot it is very thick but you're not like rubbing 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 in this absorbs really really quickly and it slides on like I want to say like it's like velvet I guess like this pillowy marshmallow marshmallow this pillowy marshmallowy kind of feel and then it just sinks in but it spreads all over the face very very well I love this but that's not what I want to use today um I ran out of my I like to have a moisturizer in my office this is my office it's just this little nook that I've got um for when I'm doing my makeup so I've got moisturizer underneath and I picked up this it's just basic guys just picked up this um CeraVe or CeraVe whatever you want to call it moisturizing cream for very dry to dry skin um because apparently it's really good and it's got ceramides in it and stuff like that, and I want something good on my face. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've got three moisturizers on the go at the moment. This one's just for, like, my makeup, unless I end up really, really liking it. Um, so I have this um, Ole Henriksen one, which I use in the morning with my Buffet Serum. And then I have my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus, which I use in the evening with my retinol because it's pretty basic. And, um, yeah, and this. So let's see. Hopefully this doesn't make me look greasy. I'm just going to bring my little mirror over. When I say mirror, I mean giant thing. Um, just so I can see what I'm doing. I don't need a ton. Because I put a little bit of moisturizer on before. But um, I ended up wiping some off um, because of the sunscreen was burning my eyes. So I thought I'd just replace it just a little bit. Mm. Yep, there we go. Basic. With this little pimple on my chin. Don't know what's going on, but anyway, um, let's get into the makeup. So today I'm going to use a concoction of this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in the shade um, hmm, Breeze, 0 0.5 Breeze, and I'm actually going to mix that with. Um, uh, Mac Studio Face and Body Foundation um, in the shade N1 because this is too light um, and like it's got good coverage but it's too light. I ended up looking like a ghost. And this is kind of like 
really low coverage but it's more my color so when i put these two together they seem to do pretty well so that's what i'm going to do today um i've been trying to find a way to um not make my under eyes look so bad when i have makeup on because it really tends to age me like 15 years and like older than i am and i'm i'm not in for that i just i'm not down for that so um yeah i've been not using a um concealer lately i don't think i might don't need it too much anyway i'm just trying to put less underneath my eyes at the moment i might actually mix this foundation together with a brush and dot it on my face and then blend it in with a um a beauty sponge all right Put that everywhere, even down my neck. Let's see how that goes. Oh, I had some fluff. All right, let's get this on. I mean, doing these two doesn't give me like full coverage, not at all, but I'm happy with it. What I was doing the other day actually is I was putting a little bit of concealer on um, and just like getting rid of some of these darker freckles. Um, I know a lot of you like freckles but I've had freckles all my life and I don't know. I just, I really like a clean canvas. Um, you know, you always want what you don't have and um, you know, curly hair wants straight hair, straight hair wants curly hair, freckles doesn't want freckles vice versa. You get the gist. And, um, yeah, I just, I guess I want to even out my skin tone, but I really would like to just get rid of some of that, um, those freckles that I've got over my face, but that will do. And anyway, it's full enough, um, coverage that when I put on my, um, my bronzers and my blushes and stuff like that, I'm okay. Like, I don't mind it, right? Um, I think that looks nice. Not too bad, just gonna use the last of that just to blend down my neck. Um, my hair. That will do. Now, before I set this with any kind of powder, I'm gonna go in with my um, Mecca Max, I don't even know what you call this, um, Mecca Max Off Duty Contour Stick, and just do a little bit here, a little bit there, a little on the Sides of my nose here, down on the tip, little under there, and you know, just hide that double chin just a little bit. <laughs> Alright. I'm making a lot of noise today. Oh, let's get that in first. Mm -hmm. Might have to put some more in my cheekbones there. Now if you can hear a child in the background, it is the weekend. And he's been arguing with his tablet lately. Not much difference, but I do think that does sculpt just a little bit, in my opinion. Now, I'm going to use this Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light to basically set my makeup. Um, I don't have any other powders. Every other powder that I had um, seemed to really accentuate my dry skin and I threw them out a while ago. So I've only got this and this is what I've been using. So it's been working and I need to use it because it's expensive. <laughs> um, and I don't want it sitting there going to waste. So until I find my hair, my gosh, until I find something better, this is it. Except I find I've got to be careful because if I use too much of this, then it looks horrible. Right, that's pretty much it. Then I'm going to use my NARS um, Laguna bronzer. Love this. This is kind of new to my collection. Um, before I was using the Physicians, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I like this. I'm just going to do that a little bit higher up. Now, I'm not messing about today. I um, 
I've had a lot going on and just don't want to, you know, spend three hours putting on makeup. Um, I mean, lockdowns are lockdowns. You know what it's like. It's been crazy, but my kids have been, I'm going to put it over my nose. My kids have been sick lately with their own thing. Start of school holidays, they caught COVID and like they didn't all catch it at the same time. They caught it, one caught it, then five days later, the other one caught it, then five days later. So pretty much entire school holidays, they were all home in lockdown. Felt so bad for them. Um, I escaped it, so did my partner. We've both had the, um, the Novavax, but the children are under 18 and they couldn't get it. So um, what do you do? What do you do? And, um, you know, and then my other son has been passing out all the time and we don't know what's going on. So we're running all these tests and it's just been crazy and I haven't had the like drive to go, hey, I'm going to sit down and, and do a, a bright video, you know, it's just I had all these things going on in my mind. But um, the boy is at his dad's house and, um, you know, the other children are out and about and the five-year-old is entertaining himself, so I thought, you know what, why not? I need a little bit of downtime, a little bit of R&R, &R, and I need to get these videos done. So I thought, all right, I'd like to talk to you guys, see how you guys are going, you know. Just get some stuff done as well as enjoy myself. Now, I am using the Jouer, um, what is, what are you? You are the Adore Blush Duo thingamajiggy, and I'm just using this side right here because I don't really want to be luminous. And I'm just going to put that up a little bit higher on my cheekbones. I've been enjoying that lately, just a little bit higher. Um, I find if I drag it down, I kind of look like an old-fashioned, um, you know, red light district. <laughs> anyway, I was trying to find a nice way to say that. I'm going to brush it just a little bit around my nose. But yeah, I've been putting it up a little bit higher lately. Um, just enjoying it. No, I don't want too much. I'm really enjoying this colour. Actually, I never really thought that I would enjoy sort of like um, peachy kind of colours. And this one's still a little bit pink. Um, but I really would like to try out something just a little bit more peachy. I know. I don't know what is wrong with me. I am not going to put on highlighter. I feel glowy already. And I think that might be partial the sunscreen um, still coming through underneath. So I am going to um, use this MAC Paint Pot in Painterly to just blank out my eyes. I'm going to use my fingers because I'm the only one who uses this anyway. And I just like the application, but I find if I use a brush, I, um, I don't know, it just looks dry. And I love this. Um, I find that my eyeshadows stick to it longer, they stay better. I don't know, I just like it. I like it a lot. And, um, hmm. Gonna last me forever too. All right, what am I gonna do today? I'm gonna leave my eyebrows last, even though what is that? Even though um, most people like to do them first, I don't um, I like to do them last or second last or anything like that. So I am probably going to use this Too Faced chocolate bar palette, and um, I generally stick to a couple of shades. I'm not gonna do anything fancy, so I'm going to go into first milk chocolate down here. Yep, yeah, down here, and just blend that. Uh, what am I going to use? I'm going to use you, just the fluffy brush. What are you? This is a Spectrum uh, B06 brush. I'm not going to be able to tell you all of my brushes because some of them are just really generic. I'm just going to tap that on the outer corner here and just do some blendy blendy and bringing it up just a little bit higher because I have hooded eyes and a lot of the time you're not going to see a lot of the shadow that's on there. Um, but I don't want to go too high up. Um, yeah, that's nice. I like that. You know, I like kind of like just defining the eyes, I guess, a little bit. Um, right now, we're not really into bright colours or anything like that. You know, the days are being kind of dreary and I, I just want to feel like me. Um, and I know putting all this makeup on, you're probably thinking, how can you feel like you when you're putting on all of this artificial stuff? Don't ask me. I just feel more confident in myself when I've got this sort of stuff on. And this is the only reason why I do it. I don't do it for anybody else. I do it because it makes me feel good. And if I feel good, then I'm projecting out into everything that I'm doing, whether I'm doing housework or looking after the kids or just taking a phone call, you know, even having to deal with difficult people on the phone. I'm more bright eyed and bushy tailed and I can tolerate more things, you know, and it's just, you might say, but how can makeup do that? It's, it's a brain thing, you know, I don't know. 
I just know that it makes me feel good and that's why I do it. It doesn't have to make sense to anybody but me and um, mm. all right. I'm going to take um, a little bit of a flat brush. What have I done with it? It was here. Hmm. I don't know what I've done with it. Um, this will do. Yep. And I'm going to take um, I'm going to take white chocolate uh, right here, and I'm just going to put it on the inner corner just to brighten up my inner corner a little bit. Um, I've been doing that a lot lately. I've been doing, enjoying it, even though I'm going to put a slight shimmer on. Um, over the top of that. I don't know. I've just been liking doing that first So I said it doesn't have to make sense. It's just what I like to do. Uh, I just feel like the Little bit of whiteness underneath helps make the shimmer pop just a little bit. I could do a cut crease I'm not going to I just as I said I'm gonna spend less time. I want to deepen out that outer corner actually so I might grab this um, Little pointy brush. I don't know what it is. I don't know and I'm gonna grab um, semi sweet right here and I'm just gonna just darken this edge just a little bit here not much just a little bit of definition yeah i like that it's not much it really isn't and i love the smell of this thing too it's old but it still smells amazing whoops that might be a bit too much just a little bit let's just get a little bit of a tighter brush here a little bit of a tighter brush and just blend that out just a little bit yeah Actually, we can make that work. I like that. Drag it in a bit more. Yeah. Hey, I'm not hating that. All right. Happy max. Happy accident. I was gonna say happy mistake and happy accident. <laughs> happy accident. All right. All right. Let's try and replicate this. I probably won't be able to. That's okay. Yeah, not too bad. Do a little bit of a bit more of a blend. Right, I want to take some of that, um, some of that semi-sweet that I just did then, um, underneath my eye. Not too much. Not too much. I don't want to look like I was kicked in the face. Just a little bit of definition. I like it. Just like that. Right, now I'm going to take Marzipan right here. Love this shade, it's actually my favorite one. Um, <laughs> and I am just going to smash that first in the middle and then I'm gonna blend it out all over. Just like that. So look, before I go and put on any mascara, I'm just going to spray this down um, and then, you know, just press it in with my sponge. I just find that uh, it gives just a little bit better of a finish for my skin, I feel like. So let's do this. Feels so nice. I'm running out of that. This is the Badesco, Mario Badescu um, Facial Spray with Aloe and Cucumber. I've got another one, but I don't know where it is at the moment. But I like that one better. I'm just going to press everything in. like that all right now I'm happy with the eyes um, it'll look better once I have mascara on in my opinion and I'm going to do my eyebrows so, lately I oh I've been changing things up I brought this um, I've never actually had it before guys the benefit precisely my brow pencil in the shade 3.5 so my problem is is this part of my eyebrow the tail when I'm looking I don't know if you can see it in here it seems to be um, a little bit more prominent today, but typically from about here onwards, it's invisible to everybody else. Like, I don't know what it is. It's like I've got dark hairs here and then blonde. It's ridiculous. Um, and mostly on this side. So I just like to sculpt it just a little bit. I'm not one of these big blocky kind of eyebrow kind of persons. I'm not trying to be. I'm not good at doing my eyebrows. Uh, like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I just do the best that I can. Um, but I love, I love how thin this is. Now, I don't like the frickin' price. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy it again. I really do like it though, but if I could find something to replicate this. So give me a minute, I'm gonna do these eyebrows and um, I'll get back to you. And that's literally all I do with the pencil. Um, doesn't look that great. Uh, but I then go in with this um, Elizabeth Mott 
queen of the fill and just define the hairs a little bit. Not much, just a little. I think this one's just a little bit too dark, that's why I'm very sparing with it. See, even that there is a little bit too dark for me, but it is what it is. I'm not changing it. It is what it is. All right, let's put some mascara on. I'm using um, Essence Slash Princess, the False Lash Effect. It's the only mascara I've got at the moment. It's the only one that I like. I, I um, should try some other things. Not very good at talking and... Um, I'm doing my makeup at the same time. That's why I don't do a lot of these videos because there's going to be a lot of you watching me put on makeup. And to be honest with you, lately I just haven't been into doing anything really different. So there's no point in me just doing the same makeup look for you guys over and over and over. Um, right, lipstick. What lipstick are we going to wear today, guys? I've usually been using the um, MAC Whirl. I love that but I've been using it to death and I've got all these other lipsticks in front of me that I have been just completely ignoring. I don't know guys, what do you reckon? I don't know what to do. Um, I reckon we should try another one. I don't really want to do this bold red, do I? I could do this bold red. That's very, that's, that's pretty strong though. I don't know. Maybe another brown. Um, I've got this, um, Kat Von D one. Yeah, I'm not feeling that. <laughs> no, not today. I got these Kaleidos ones here too. Um, I floss the sticker off that one. Hang on, that one's June. That one's Pink Moon. I reckon this one is Bear. Let's put Bear on and see how it goes. Pretty sure it's Bear. Alright, let's go. I love how these wear. Hmm, it's not bad. I usually find these quite difficult to apply. They they are rather moussey, and um, I don't have big lips. I don't. So I reckon that's not too bad. Um. I think that's all I'm gonna do guys, pretty much. Just pull my tassels out and um, get ready to record an empties for you. There is something else that I wanted to do too. Like I'm thinking about um, making a, um, what would I call it? Monitoring my beauty purchases. I just don't want to use that name because um, I know a lot of other people use it, but like we're pretty much halfway through the year and um, Mm. I've brought a decent amount of products and half of them aren't even on my wish list. So I thought maybe I'll talk to you guys about some of the things that I've brought and just like touch base with whether I thought it was worth it or not. So if you're interested in that, let me know down below because I don't want to waste your time. It's just something I was thinking about. Anyway guys, I'm going to wrap this up and I am going to get on to making an empties video. I don't know if you're going to see this one before the empties or after the empties or whatever, but um, either way I hope you enjoyed this and just that little chit chat and um, if you want to chit chat more often, uh, maybe I can do a, um, a question and answers video for you guys. Just let me know in the comments what, what you want to know. Um, I'm pretty transparent and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Anyway guys, oh, that's the other thing. Um, the community tab all right so i've got 300 subscribers now thank you all um you know every time the algorithm um resets or whatever you know i lose 10 and then i gain 10 and da, 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 da. it's driving me nuts but they just dropped to the communities tab down to having 500 people so that is my next goal i want to get to 500 subscribers so i can talk to you guys i can leave you guys comments so then i don't have to go over to like instagram to talk to you guys or you don't have to go to instagram or facebook or any of those other socials to talk to me i want to be able to talk to you guys here without having to go into the videos um 
So that's my goal, and if you want to help me reach that goal, feel free. Uh, press the like button, press the share, all of the good things. Recommend me. Um, I know I'm not I'm not a makeup artist or anything like that. I'm just a simple as a YouTuber who um, likes to talk about makeup products and skincare products, and um, you know, shoot the shit with you guys. So anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that, and um, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.